This episode is brought to you by Sweats and Leggings. Not the podcast, but the attire. The two pieces of clothing comparable to apples and potatoes. Sure, they both grow and can be eaten, but that's about where the similarities end. Sure, sweatpants can be worn for a Walmart run. If you wear them on date night, you're a bum-ass nigga. If you wear sweatpants at a gym, no one bats an eye. But if you wear them to a job interview, just that new position good the fuck by. The difference between wearing leggings is that you can wear them on all four occasions. The only thing that would affect how you view for wearing leggings is how long your top garment is. Wearing leggings with a dress that comes down past your ass, you're completely presentable to mom. Wearing leggings with a spaghetti strap tank top, you might be looked at as a thotty make non-stop bopper. The argument is that no matter how long the jacket, shirt, or any top of any form of top piece of garment is, people are going to look at you as a raggedy ass nigga if you wear sweatpants to certain occasions. So let's get rid of these comparable situations with leggings and sweats and acknowledge that sweatpants are only acceptable to the people that want to see the dick print. Now let's start the episode. I'm sending Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 56. Is it 56? Yeah. yeah. Welcome to episode 56 of the Absence of Wills Podcast, podcast where, oh my fucking God, we're fucking four episodes away from 60. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Recap, baby. Uh, welcome to episode 56 of the Air Sense Wolves Podcast. Podcast where a bunch of dumbass millennials talk about their dumbass perspectives, their dumbass opinions, their dumbest mistakes, and their dumbest complaints. I'm your host, Nelson. Thank you for joining me today. Shout out 7 out 5 production. Yeah, we in here. Gang, gang, bang, bang. Gang, gang, bang, bang. If you're wondering where the fuck Eric's return happened after he missed 51 and 52, he came back in 53, and you just don't know it because you missed the fucking Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash YCC Entertainment. I know I'm still talking about it. Like, you, you don't be here, but, like, right, I'm just yeah. trying to plug the Patreon. Oh, no, I don't care. Get that extra content. Get that extra everything past one hour. Get that exclusive episode a month. Get the exclusive episodes from fucking Protest and Riot. Yeah, exclusive yeah. episodes from fucking Tunes and Tantrums. Exclusive episodes from Blurred Watching. Exclusive episodes from uh, the Six Podcast. Uh, uh, subscribe to the YouTube Yes. YouTube.com slash YCC Entertainment Network. Make sure you watch this episode, the public view. Even if you're watching it on Patreon, just go to the public view and watch it for three minutes. Let it play in the background so you, I can get the view count. <laughs> nah, for real, that view count matters. The view count matters. But just let it play in the background. Let it go for the first three minutes so I can get the view count. And then, like, you know, like that episode and leave a comment. Um <laughs> I don't even know. Bro, I, I, <laughs> I know. I know. I just looked over at Eric and wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, leave I a. I don't care today. <laughs> I really don't. I'm trying to think too. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that don't know, for the, oh, the, the usually the comments, like at a at an earlier time when we started doing like leave a comment saying this is about Eric. It was like pre-thought. Mm-hmm. But now they're like, in the moment, like, leave a comment. Like, I have to look at this nigga and say, leave a comment saying this, that, and the third. Yeah. And um, Sometimes now I, I do stuff purposely just so you can have something. <laughs> That's, I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for that. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a like on this episode. Leave a comment saying, damn, Eric. You're still wearing them tight ass fucking shorts, and I don't see any kneecap tattoos yet. <laughs> where's the kneecap tattoos? There you go. Leave a comment saying, Where's the kneecap tattoos after you leave a like on this episode and subscribe to the YouTube channel? If you're an audio only uh, listener, subscribe to the fucking YouTube. You get so much more content, so much more regularly from all of our different podcasts. Because when you're listening to audio only, you have to subscribe to Protest and Riot. You have to subscribe to Tunes and Tension. You have to subscribe to Blur Watch. You have to subscribe to the Six. Yeah. I mean, subscribe to them all. Please. But if you get it on YouTube, you get all of them. Mm-hmm. It's your single place for uh, ultimate um, comfortability. Nah, fuck shit. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what you're in the mood for. It depends on what you're in the mood for. <laughs> With that being said, if you're in the mood for all the fuck shit, just go to YCCEntertainment.com. These plugs are coming naturally yeah. as fuck. 
<laughs> just go to yccentertainment.com. So simply go to yccentertainment.com slash our sense of woes. Make sure you go to yccentertainment.com so that you can keep up on everything else the podcast have to offer. Uh, with that being said, new merch coming for every different podcast. We'll be dropping at least one piece of merch or adding one piece of merch to the website every week. And we're starting with the the beautiful YCC Entertainment All Podcast Mugs. Yes. Which includes a free giveaway for anybody that comes on this episode and says, Eric, kneecap tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna we'll show up to do that and give one free person or one uh, special person a free mug. So uh, make sure you leave a comment. Saying Eric, Eric kneecap tattoos. Also, make sure you still leave the the original comment saying we're we're counting both comments. If you don't leave both comments, you're not you're considered for the mug. <laughs> Is that fair? <laughs> I that's think fair. that's fair. <laughs> like no so leave tattoos. one comment saying "Damn Eric, all those kneecaps and no tattoos," and then also leave a comment saying "Eric kneecap tattoos," and you'll be in the running for the free mug that we'll be doing a giveaway for this month, and I will be doing a giveaway. For episode 56, 57, 58, and 59. Four mugs are going out. So that's four, right? Yeah. yeah. Four mugs going out over the course of the next month. So make sure you uh, leave those comments so that you can be on the running for the free mug. And make sure you DM us a picture of you representing the YCC Entertainment mug. You got to show your kneecaps, too. <laughs> <laughs> It has to go with it. Don't show me your kneecaps. <laughs> Unless they have tattoos on them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> YCCentertainment.com slash Our Sins of Woes. Uh, Patreon.com slash YCC Entertainment. And YouTube.com slash um, YCC Entertainment Network. Make sure you get on all of them. Find us on fucking uh, Twitter. Our Sins of Woes or YCCENT. Find us on fucking Instagram. Our Sins of Woes or YCC Entertainment. Find us on Facebook. I don't know if that's people's thing. Do they like follow shit on Facebook? I don't know. Yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Instagram notification. I forgot to mute my phone, and that's from uh, 795 Production. Shout out 795 Production. Um, yeah. Follow us on Facebook, Irisons and Wolves, or YCC Entertainment Network. Uh, or just go to the fucking website, yccentertainment.com. It can't be any easier than that, and you will get all the social media links that you need. Patreon.com slash YCC Entertainment. Okay, I got all my sh- those sh- plugs out. This is getting harder. I know, you had right? to plug so much more shit. But uh, shout out to everything that's... Uh, shout out to YCC Entertainment. Culmination of all your favorite uh, podcasts and soon-to-be favorite podcasts and content creators of a life. For shout out. You, I'm pretty sure you can get them all in. Yeah. You been keeping up with Brittany Renner? No, I haven't. Okay, well, I can definitely get my shows out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, but the top, yeah, no, you can definitely get her out. When's the last time you talked to Mac and Cheese? It's been a minute. Okay, well, there we go. I'm definitely getting all the shots. <laughs> and on that note, let me go ahead and introduce mm. my guest for this episode. Let's get it. Brandon Moore, Franklin himself, Caillou, Yo. or Little Bill, whatever the fuck Jeez. you want to call us. Yo, I got another one now, Joe from Seoul. <laughs> I, Yo. I, know, I, I know, right? <laughs> Nigga, ah. Christmas, everyone was like, Yo. You look like Joe from Soul. My kids are playing with the Happy Bill toy right now. They remind me of you. I went out the next fucking day and bought the goddamn glasses. Look, look, look at these shits. It says Soul. I, I went out and bought the glasses. I was like, yo, end of the year. Let me go ahead and get this insurance claim in here. So went ahead and bought the glasses. Fuck yes, I'm here. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Tell my Patreons, or soon to be Patreons for this YouTube episode, this audio episode, whatever the fuck you want to have you be at. Because, you know... For as little as $1 a month, you can get the extended audio episode. Or for as little as $5 a month, you can get the extended YouTube video. Um, Brandon Moore is back. And Brandon Moore has a lot of bags that he refuses to touch in certain situations. But with the Patreon, <laughs> you're going to oh. get all those fucking bags. <laughs> open every single bag. Don't care. So <laughs> after the 59-minute mark, 55 to 65-minute mark, when we say bye to the free niggas, because we will be saying bye to the free niggas, Brandon Moore's going to get into a fucking bag. Oh, so make sure you subscribe to the fucking bad. Patreon. <laughs> it's going to be bad. I got some stories to tell. Simple as that. <laughs> gonna, I got some stories. Uh, oh, how's shit. Comedian World? You're back. It, uh, yo, I'm happy to be back. Um, I mean, I've been doing stuff during like the whole pandemic. But like, How was the virtual experience? I fucking hated that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Be- 
Because, like, everyone's on Zoom, so, like, you can't see anyone because no one would turn on the camera. Yeah, turn on the camera. Right. So, like, you're just seeing just blank screens, and people will have the mics off because they got kids running in the background and shit like that. So, like, you'll be telling your jokes, and it's like, damn, like, this would hit anywhere else, and it's just, like, awkward silence. <laughs> I'm like, yo. <laughs> Shout out to Pit Rose for another fucking quotable. <laughs> Bitch, you're sitting at the kitchen table with fucking kids running in the background and paper plates. <laughs> now, oh. this is not to Yo. disrespect the paper plate woman. <laughs> is it? But, is it? But yeah, no, that's how that's how Zoom World works. It is. I hate that shit. I did it probably for like, I ran the show on Zoom for like a month. And then I was like, yeah, fuck this shit. Can't do it. And then I was actually out doing stuff because I was just, you know, this raw dog in this air with, you know, with a mask on. <laughs> Jesus. Raw dog in the air with the mask dude, on? Dude, dude, sometimes you got to take that mask off. You got to take that protection off. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, breathe. no I, I'm breathing it in. Yeah, I got to breathe it <laughs> in. I, I got a raw dog, you know. I'm out of these shows. I'm like, you know what? We just raw dog in the air for a little bit. <laughs> Let me just be a little I've never heard it described as raw dog in the air. Dude, you got a raw dog in the air. <laughs> <laughs> like on some real shit, I feel bad for all the asthmatic people out there because like them, us mm, up for them, yeah. I yeah. mean they're high risk, so yeah. if exactly. They, if they're raw dog in the air, we got bigger problems here. <laughs> 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 if they're raw dog in the air, we had bigger fucking problems. But yeah, um, Zoom life, it, it was shit. No, because I I did see like you coming on Facebook and I watched a couple of shows, uh, but. I know it's harder for you, especially yeah. if, like the type of person you are. You got to be in there. Yeah, I got to be in there. So like we tried to do like a podcast mm -hmm. and then that was like a little bit more fun. But then I just got tired. I was like, you know, I'm lazy. Like I got to sit like, you know. What are you, every woman I try to start a podcast with? <laughs> no, because it, it was. Wow. Wow, God. I'm, I'm waiting for that line. Uh, that was the line. Oh, no, I was waiting for the other <laughs> line. Was like, shout out to my asses. I was waiting oh, for no, that. no, 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 no. I would never start a podcast. Somebody asked me that. They were like, would you bring your ex on a podcast? That, that like, would be interesting to see, though. I want to do that. For episode 100, I want to bring all of my exes on for a roundtable special. Are you trying to die? No. I'm trying <laughs> to get all of them in a room together so they can argue and I can watch. That would be interesting. But I don't shit, talk though. to any of my exes. What? Any of my exes. I'm cool I, all my exes, though. That's a lie. I talked to one of my exes, but it's only because uh, when I was going through that, that mental breakdown that yeah. I had earlier in 2021, um, one of my exes was the most uh, 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 there for me female friends like I'd ever asked for. Oh, that's nice. Like, she was, yeah. she was helping me through it. And this woman is a happy, happily married woman, mm -hmm. happy with her husband, happy with her child. And she was just being a friend. Right. There was no extra interest or anything like that. We were just like, cool, we, we're we good friends. Yeah. And that was it. But outside of that, I don't talk to any of my fucking exes. Damn, I'm good friends with all mine still. Oh, yeah, no. I, I it's weird. Know. Like, we, we're still, like, cool. Like, hit them up, you know. Now, some other chicks, like, I like, Bane in the past, like, nah, Not, you know. But, it's only because of the reason like, that exes. I don't like my exes after or in the, the situation. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I don't. Really consider certain things a red flag, but my red flags are my red flags. Yeah. So there are certain yeah. things like that. What do I always go back to? That fucking don't treat me like I'm replaceable. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a lot. That's an issue with a lot of my exes. Don't yeah. sit here and tell me you can get me anywhere else, or it's not gonna work. Exactly. Bitch. <laughs> Fuck <Nice>. your friendship. <laughs> yeah, nice on that one. I don't think I've dated anyone like past high school. I've just been fucking around. You've been hoes since high school. Damn. Yeah. I mean. Damn. It's, I'm in my 20s. I'm 26. Why not? Oh, you fucking young kids. Gosh. Nah, that's fair. When I was in my 20s, I was. Shout out to my Washington. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in Washington, my life was different. I experienced it. And my life changed for the better. Oh, yeah. I did say. <laughs> we, we coming out there back. eventually. Shout out to all my Washington audience. We can come back out there eventually. Yeah, we got to go back. We have, we have uh, a lot of uh, big fan base out there. And we have a lot of... Uh, Supporters out in Washington. Shout out to my mentor. I got some unfinished business out there. Yikes. Uh -oh. And this nigga is. Yo. <laughs> He's like, I've been oh, I feel like since I hit the uh, one year mark, I'm allowed to say it publicly. What? That I'm celibate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I've been oh, celibate damn. for a year now. Damn. Hit September 2nd. Oh, man. It's damn. funny because, like, for some reason, when I go out in public, the bitches want me more than I want them. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it always is. That's how it is. Like, I, I tried that shit recently, and I hit like three months. And I was good. And then, like, I had to slip up. 
We got. We're gonna talk about that on the, the on the Patreon. Yeah, the Patreon. I got yeah. you, fam. Say less. Yeah. It always happens in like the three, like two to three months span. You're like, Ugh. like I hit three, uh, and nope. then I had to slip up, and then I was like, all right, cool, and then I, you know, that was that was good afterwards, but <laughs> till last Monday. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> and <laughs> sin of the day, one of the week. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's get in fucking to it. Let's fucking get uh, into it. My sin of the day. Is I'm pretty sure it was episode 54. Shout out to Chino. Shout out to Mark Chino Magic. Yeah. Um, 54, I was talking about um, how I take pride in people not liking me and how I take pride in me not liking other people. Mm-hmm. Another very horrible thing that I have, or concept mentality I have, is I'm okay with burning bridges. Yes. Yeah, I've always been completely fine with saying, nah, you good, bro. Like, I can't. Like, I could give a damn about us having a relationship. And I noticed that's an issue at work. Uh, mm. Yeah. Because I yeah. definitely don't fucking care. Yeah. If, like, there are certain things, like, I, I have, like, higher ups of mine that I work with. Because as most people who listen to the podcast know, I've been in the aviation world for so long. And now I'm coming into a job as of June or January of this year, uh, coming into that job of where I have the experience, and mm-hmm. they want me to do things. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling them, hey, but I don't care about, like, you know, giving a fuck about what the next person thinks. Right. Mm-hmm. So, if that person is not holding their weight, I could give a fuck about maintaining a relationship. Oh, yeah, uh, well, here we, we've always, like, we've gone out of our way to help them. And I'm like, okay, but they're not going out of their way to help you. Exactly. Right. So, Facts. fuck them. <laughs> oh, my God. You are preaching to the choir right now. I, I'll be the first one to say, nah, fuck them. Yeah. I get that that's how y'all been doing it in the past, but now I'm in this position. Exactly. Now I'm running shit here. So with that being said, I could give a fuck about Yo, what they let have. Let them to. bitches drown. <laughs> shit. Honestly, I, yeah. I've I've one of the first things I did and uh, when I when I started the job that I had was um, we had to depend on them to do a lot of things, and I was like, fuck that, we're not doing that anymore. Yep. You come to me for everything, and if you need something from them, you come to me, and I will get it from them. Exactly. And then. From that point forward, you will never have to go to them for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you know, what What happens if... I don't give a fuck. Come talk to me first. <laughs> yeah, I will talk, talk to, to them. Me. There's no reason <laughs> why you need to talk to them anymore. Exactly. Oh, well, uh, you know, they always come to us for this. Okay, cool. And they come to us, and if they can't... Yeah. If they provide it for us, that's fine. And if we can give it to them, that's fine. If I can't give it to them... Sorry, bro. Hey, Simple as that. The way. Yeah. And... If I go to them and they be like, no, you know, that's a lot of work for us. Okay, cool. Don't ask me to go above and beyond for you. Exactly. I don't have no oh fucking God. time of day for that bullshit. Exactly. Uh, and I've always been the type of person like where I don't, I don't want to say I, I care about, I don't care about burning my bridges with friends, but I'm risky in that situation where I'll say mm-hmm. like, I'll treat my friends a lot more harshly. I'll treat strangers. Yeah. Yeah. But, and that's because burning bridges isn't my end goal. It's being your friend. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like the perception that I have as your friend or the mentality I have, like Chino, me and Chino went back and forth at it for a minute. You would think that we hate niggas or that I'm hating on him. Shout out to Q. But it got a little awkward at times during that episode. I was like, yeah. And I I was still, (laughs) and I was still calling Chino weeks after talking about yo. Little baby washed Drake on wants and needs. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, we he were still did. having friendly yeah. ass conversations. He really did. Yeah. <laughs> we were yeah. still having friendly ass conversations with like that. Like, yes, I, I'm, I'm going to bring up certain things. I might make you feel a little unfucking comfortable. At the end of the fucking day, you're still my friend. Exactly. And people forget that. People like th- This day and age, people forget shit like that. Facts. Like, you know, sometimes you got to be a little tough with someone, you Facts. know, to, to toughen them up Facts. for the real world because, you know. Because your parents aren't going to do it exactly. anymore, so here <laughs> I am. <laughs> here I am to be your daddy. <laughs> Shout out to Paramore. Ain't it fun? That song is the real Yo, I fucking love that song. Hell oh, yeah. my God. That's Hell you guys' yeah. Paramore song? Yeah. Mine's is misery business. Nah. <laughs> my nah. Paramore song is misery business. Shout out to my non-black audience. <laughs> no Paramore. <laughs> I mean, that and uh, Into You, but I mean, that's a given. Yeah. Well, it's only because, shout out to, uh, shout out to J-Pat, shout out to, uh, um, 
Shout out to my white boys. Because um, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say names because they've never been on the show. Yeah. So, um, but shout out to the white boys. Shout out to the transmissions. <laughs> you would only know if you know. <laughs> but shout out to the transmissions. We used to do that on uh, uh, YouTube way, way back in the day. Like mm-hmm. When I was like, go to YouTube <laughs> and type in oh. PS3 versus Xbox 360 rap. PS3 versus Xbox 360 rap on YouTube. It'll probably be like your second or third, maybe fourth video. You'll find it. It's got a lot of views. Um, that's me way back in the day. But, and I'm pretty sure that's like 15 years old now. Bro, come to think of it, I've Damn. I've known you since, well, known of you since I was a fucking kid. Yeah. Come I'm to think here. of it, yeah. I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Your mommy know me, your ex know me. Your, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's not to Eric, that was to the audience. Yeah. But uh, I'm kidding. That's the, <laughs> the free niggas, not the Patreon. <laughs> But um, uh, yeah. Back we used to do like rock band uh like videos. Record us doing it in my parents' basement of us doing performances and misery business was one of my favorite. Like the game rock band. Yeah. Oh shit, that's my. Oh, yeah, we used God. to do rock band and uh, Guitar Hero because misery yeah. business was on Guitar Hero World Tour, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, uh, shout out to J Pat. Shout out to the White Boys. Uh, shout out to J Pat's sister. <laughs> you know, decided that yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh. But yeah, no, no I'm, 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 I'm done with giving a fuck about burning bridges. If you can't do anything for me and you expect me to do everything for you, like I will easily tell you to fuck off. What yeah. my day from the back? I don't have the time of day for that. <laughs> because I've never, I've never been the type of person to like put myself in a position where I need to depend on you. Yeah. Why would I want to cons- uh, assist you in putting putting yourself in a position where you have to depend on me? Exactly. So, if it doesn't go both ways. Fuck it. Yeah. The birds. So that's my sin of the day. One ways can't fuck with it. <laughs> Not giving it. a shit about uh, burning fucking bridges. In the words of us, should just let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about him peeing. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. In the, in terms of Walking Dead, mm. yeah, the Rick finale. Yo, let that shit explode. <laughs> 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 You'll come back in a spinoff. <laughs> <laughs> For real. How long has it been since that happened? It's been like at least like three years. I don't know. I stopped watching Walking Dead two years before that. Oh shit! I just I was just watching it last night. Nah, <laughs> when, they killed, like, when they killed off Jesus or Jesus or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, they yeah. Actually, I stopped watching that one like after the tiger showed up and oh, Negan was yeah. like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> where does tiger come from?" I kind of stopped watching after that. It's like what the hell? Like this healthy ass tiger just came <laughs> no, out of nowhere. <laughs> Like, this healthy-ass tiger, like, what? That part. Um, Will of the week. Giving passes to content creators. And I say that in an argument that it's Donda. I feel like a lot of controversy behind Donda and, I don't know, the last six albums of Kanye I have s- been... I would say, like, the last three. Ever since he started with the whole... Oh, Jesus. Well, that was six albums ago? Um, yay, Life of Pablo. Uh, what came out? Something came out to Jesus. Uh, well, you gotta include Jesus sure. King. Um, so maybe last five albums Jesus King, yay, um, Life of Pablo, and uh, Jesus. Okay, that's four albums. Okay, Fair so yeah. but niggas have been acting like I've given Kanye enough passes. Mm-hmm. A lot of you niggas have not. A lot of you niggas aren't giving the passes that you think you are giving content creators. Mm-hmm. You motherfuckers still get mad because the old white lady is taking too long at McDonald's because they fucked up her shake the first time and she's asked for them to fix it. And you're over here rushing a bitch. Like, she's mm-hmm. just trying to get the right shit she ordered. Yeah. Which is hilarious because I door dashed um, a, uh, some food last night from Burger King because mm-hmm. I was really craving a milkshake. An Oreo milkshake. And I ordered a triple whopper, two fries, wow. a Hershey's pie, uh, a bottle of 2% milk because mm-hmm. I had the Hershey pie and I like my milk with my chocolate cake and uh, a vanilla shake mm. to eat with the Whopper. I got everything except the two drinks to include the milk and the milkshake. Mm-hmm. So I, I immediately sent that back to DoorDash and was like, yo, y'all fucked up. And then I reordered it because they gave me my credits, yeah. which is crazy because like Damn, they only quick. credited me. Yeah. Damn. Uh, they credited me seven dollars and fifty nine cents, 
and I still had to spend ten dollars to get the uh, to reorder yeah, to milk reorder. and a milkshake. Yes. And then I got the milkshake, and it still wasn't an Oreo milkshake. It was a vanilla milkshake. Jeez. <laughs> I was super. Where the fuck did I come off of that from? <laughs> off of Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't know why. I, I thought that was in your heart. That was in your heart. That was in your I spirit. did feel that type of way. Um, <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Where the because fuck? you were saying giving uh, people slack, or yeah, you know, passes. Yeah, because so you were saying um how you don't want to give the old lady a pass because they fucked up her milkshake. The first oh yeah, time. yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So a lot of you niggas won't give the fucking lady a pass because they <laughs> fucked up her fucking milkshake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Shout out Seven Night Five Production. <laughs> yeah, this is what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, don't be sitting here telling me you give Kanye a pass and you've given him enough passes in the fucking past. So now this is the one album you can't give him a pass because red capping and uh, uh, Donald Trump's best friend and slavery was a choice. You niggas haven't been giving him a pass for a long time. Man. A lot of you niggas been knocking him since fucking uh, George Bush doesn't care about black people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then my thing is people say I'm giving Kanye a pass because his music is good, but then you're still... Using that as a a, a source of substance mm -hmm. in your argument against Kanye, that means you're not giving him a pass. Exactly. You I'll saying I give this nigga a pass is you finding out that Kanye, I mean that R. Kelly, uh, was found guilty of pissing all on pissing on all these underage women, and then he drops a new album, and you say I'm gonna go buy that album. That's yeah. a pass. Yeah, that's a huge pass. That's, yeah, a, that's pass. a pass. Huge. When you're saying no matter what he did, I'm still going to go out and buy his album. <laughs> Yeah, but when you're sitting here saying, um, "I look at Kanye a certain way," but I'll go listen to his album, but I feel still some type of way, and then how you look at Kanye affects how you listen to his music. Mm -hmm. That's not a pass. Mm -mm. That's an adjustment. Exactly. I'll, I'll say this: Kanye did the biggest, and I and I literally mean the biggest sense of code switching anyone has ever done. What do you mean? Cause like he had to code switch with Trump to get oh, certain yeah. shit done. Oh yeah, no, no. And, Otherwise, and, and, and shout out to Pinro, shout out to Protest and Riot. But Kanye's, I mean, Pinro said it the best. Like, yeah, no, nah, there's certain things you couldn't get done exactly. unless yeah, exactly. you best friend the white man. Yep. Yeah. And that's how it is with entertainment in general. To all shit. niggas in a corporate <laughs> right, and to all niggas <laughs> in the entertainment and or corporate world, they I don't know. know. They know. Sometimes you gotta you gotta say hi to the man sapiens to be able to get shit done around yeah, the world. Exactly. Use fats on that. So, yeah, a lot of you niggas have not been giving the passes that you think you've been getting. And this is what pisses me off. You motherfuckers get mad because Kanye says slavery is a choice. And you motherfuckers will wholeheartedly go in and support a killer. Mm. I'm not saying what rapper he is. I'm just saying we all know our few. Yeah. Every, you, you, you guys will go out and support drug dealers that have been doing nothing but keeping your streets down. Blame it on the white man and go out and buy the black man's album. Mm. Yeah. I have nothing against you supporting black businesses. Except when they deal with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, you niggas have been supporting block boys for a long ass time with no questions in hand. But then when a motherfucker says slavery is a choice, then you motherfuckers want to pick and play. But yet they agree when um, Michael B. Jordan said it and Black Panther agreed. We they touched want, on that. I'm not touching it again. They want to keep that same energy. Because he, he was a great actor. Yeah. Suck my dick. <laughs> I think that's the only time we all rooted for the villain or the antagonist of the. Which is funny because I've argued it before. Michael B. Jordan was written horribly. Yeah, I still say that to oh, yeah. face. He's written horribly. He just acted it out. He acted it yeah, out. Amazing. Acted it out, yeah. yeah. But Killmonger was it was written as a horrible character. Oh yeah. So it definitely should have been extended longer than than what it was. I don't like when you and see my my argument about Killmonger is people make Killmonger seem like he's the uh uh I just want to see the world burn kind of villain. They yeah. make him seem like he was the the uh the Joker. Yeah. Uh oh no, he just wanted destruction because of everything that was oppressed by him. Oh, so he wasn't in support of black people. That's what I'm getting out of that because a lot of exactly. you black people showed up in your daishikis and walked out of the theater screaming "Killmonger, Killmonger, Killmonger!" Exactly. And he didn't give a fuck about black people because Jay passed said it uh, on episode fifty-two, episode fifty-one um, with Aaron. He said it like a lot of the places that Killmonger wanted to send weapons didn't have black people. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you just wanted to send all lower class people to include white people? So there wasn't a race thing. Right. If you want to send like weapons to the lower class, also the lower class white people, then this isn't a race thing. 
this is a a, a classist thing, yeah. mm-hmm. which is fine, but let that be your argument. Right. Exactly. Then all the redneck white people that are living as low class citizens in America should be supporting Killmonger too. But y'all mm-hmm. made it seem like a black thing. Yep. When yeah. it wasn't a black thing. Because exactly. apparently, based off the Killmonger's ideology, he cared about destroying all rich black people too. Yeah. He didn't give a fuck. But that requires you niggas doing a lot deeper diving <laughs> than you're actually doing into these fucking movies. Hey, they're not going not there to though. I'm that, just that's that fake deep shit. Yeah, Shout out to uh, Josh Gons. <laughs> Shout out to all my fake woke niggas. You know, there's three things I realized that folk, fake woke niggas will defend to their blue in the face. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. Check. Black Man Won't Cheat. Check. And oh, Louis Farrakhan. Oh, Check. God. Those yeah. are the three things that yeah. no matter what the argument is, all woke niggas, and I do that to all my audio only listeners, I'm doing hand quotations for that. Those are the three things that all woke niggas will defend to their blue in the fucking face. Kendrick Lamar, the uh, oh, I'm sorry, F- Kendrick Lamar, Black Men Don't Cheat, the Black Panther movie, and Louis Farrakhan. Four things. Damn. Yeah, the four. That all fake niggas, folk, fake woke Twitter niggas will defend to their blue in the face, no matter the argument. I want to know what the Black Men Don't Cheat thing is. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, like, what is the argument behind it? Because, I mean, black men do cheat. Black men do yeah, cheat. Yeah, they do cheat. Black men do cheat. White men do cheat. Hispanic men do cheat. Yeah, men cheat. Yeah, yeah, men cheat. And other men don't cheat. <laughs> exactly. If your argument is that boys don't cheat, okay. Well, white. I mean, if your argument is that only boys cheat, okay, cool. White yeah. boys cheat. Hispanic boys cheat. Yeah. Asian boys cheat. White men, Hispanic men, Asian men don't cheat. I would, I would say niggas cheat, but men don't. Regardless, yeah. because. All these niggas are my sons, so they're all boys, anyways. <laughs> okay, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I, right? I, said <laughs> I thought she said all these bitches are my sons. Bitches, niggas, it's all in its Yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, yeah, those are. The, but they will make the the fake woke niggas will always make the argument that you know black men don't cheat. They do for real though. They, they that shit like is, a motherfucker. I know. That shit is it's just you cool. and your friends probably don't cheat, but other exactly. black men other cheat. <laughs> exactly. Because I, I don't understand the argument of like, oh, wh- what a man is, mm-hmm. and the argument of black men don't cheat. But you could be the ultimate provider. You can never make your wi- your woman feel any k- uh, kinds of insecure ever a day in her life, as far as she knows, mm-hmm. exactly. and still be a cheater. Yep. Huge facts right there. So, <laughs> this is how some of these people got stepbrothers and stepsisters and yeah. you know, brothers and sisters outside their parents' marriage. Shout exactly. out to my honest sister biological father. <laughs> Good pluck. <laughs> Good pluck. <laughs> so uh, that is my will of the week. You niggas aren't giving the passes that you think you're giving niggas. Oh my God. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, Brandon. What's up? You're back in the comedian world. Physically. Yo, I am physically. I'm out here in these streets. I, I love it. I love it. Like, so now that like everything's kind of opening up, um, <laughs> I'm out three nights out of the week. So like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I do see you're 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 very busy. Yeah, you're I'm, busy I'm in DC. Yeah. So like I got three shows I produce each week, and then like I'll find stuff on the weekend to do. You I'm, still like, live out where you were living before? Yeah, so I'm still in Woodbridge. Um, like I, I think you were in Fredericksburg. Oh no, you. Nah, you, you, I was doing the show in do Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg. Yeah, I, wa- I was when <laughs> DC opened up. I was like, "Fuck y'all, niggas." <laughs> <laughs> Mood. I'm sorry. I said, fuck y'all crackers. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. <laughs> I was like, I'm out this bitch. Um, went back to D.C. and uh, just been rocking out now with three shows. So um, every Tuesday and Thursday, Adams Morgan, um, Shenanigans Irish Pub. I know you, you've you been and in then, Shenanigans. Yeah, we've been. I do need to make my way out there. I hate yeah, D.C. I do, too. I mean, I, I love it more than Fredericksburg. So, I believe that. Yeah. Um, and then we got another spot that we just start doing. Um Smitty's out in Georgia Avenue. Okay. Um, we're out there on Wednesdays. So um, So where are you not in DC? Shit, I don't where are you know. doing shows that aren't in DC is what I'm asking. Um, so I can come to one of your shows, but I have So it in depends. DC. Like, cause like if I get like a weekend show like last weekend, uh, not last weekend, but like two weeks ago, I was out in Haymarket um Jesus. doing the show. Yeah. It it was fucking weird. It was like just white people with money. Well it's it was called like, Haymarket. Pop- yeah. Yeah, Haymarket. It was it's pretty much it like sounds like where people go grocery shopping for the cows. Pretty much. Shout out like, to my man Asapius. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. Man, I'm just saying. Yeah, but it was, it was crazy because like it was just like all a whole bunch of drunk white people with money 
And, like, I'm just saying off-the-wall shit to him. I'm like, yo, bitch, shut the fuck up. I'll make you suck my dick later. Like, I was just, like, just saying off-the-wall <laughs> shit. And the white girls are loving it. Like, yeah, someone to suck his dick later. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this shit was wild. I was like, yo, I can say whatever the fuck I want to you guys. And you guys are just down for it. And, like, this one chick was You got to eat it all up. Literally. <laughs> Literally. This one chick was in the back. She kept talking. I was like, yo, I guess you need a dick in your mouth because you won't shut the fuck up. And all her friends started clapping. I was like, I guess she, you're going to suck my dick after she's finished. <laughs> and then there was like, yes. Shout out to the hecklers. <laughs> I'm like, They're God like, damn it. Yeah. Sloppy Nelson makes a fucking return. <laughs> but it was like, it was the weirdest shit. But yeah, so um, sometimes I get like put out in, in like this area, Manassas, mm-hmm. Haymarket. Um, it's just sporadically. But most times it's in, it's in D.C. Yeah, you got to let me know. You should come to uh, uh, Open Mic. On thir- well, are you busy on Thursdays? Yeah, I got show Thursday. I was just out here in Manassas, actually. Um, fuck. Because every Thursday I'm at open mic, and I think um, right. I don't know if you know uh, at Jerani's. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I know Angela. Um, yeah, you know Ashley. She's a white girl that does comedian. She didn't want to run no. for the shoes too. That was Ashley. No, I know. Um, uh, Angela. She did, she did a show out uh, at open mic. And, okay. I mean, she did an open mic comedy show at Jerani's, and it was funny because you're not allowed to say anything past hell or damn. Yeah. So she had to like rewrite yeah, all her did, shit yeah. right there at the moment. That's why I've been out there. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I, I know of it, but I'm like, ah, oh, gosh, I want to be right. Yeah, don't, don't come if you can't bring your original content. Yeah, that's not from my can't be, you know, original. But, but I know the, like, the other, um, the host of it, uh, Angela Moore. Shout out to Angela. Um, but yeah. Wait, what? No, Team the, Fan Swap hosts the uh, open mic sound. Who? Oh, she Team is? Fan Swap. Oh, okay, so she passed it off? I don't know. I, like, I, I don't come out here that often. Oh, like, yeah, no. Team Fan Swap, um, because I affiliate with Team Fan Swap. Okay. Um, go to youtube.com slash YCC Entertainment Network, and you'll see in our affiliate, Team Fan Swap. You can just link to their page from ours. Shout out Team Fan Swap. Um, but, okay, um, bet. Uh, yeah, they're a really good affiliate. I go to every event that they do. Okay. Um, but Team Fan Swap is usually the host. Okay. Uh, shout out to Kendra. Um, yeah, they do all the... Okay, the but I know the... Okay, on the open so, mics on Thursdays. So. Okay, because I guess she must have used to run it then, because mm-hmm. I know she's been doing like, acting and stuff like that. Um, so she'll like, do like a, once a, like, once a quarter like clean comedy show. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've been like meaning to pop up, but I usually get booked on something else, so I can't make it out. But I was out... Um, shit, uh, Salzburg yeah. Theater? I was just out there um, like two weeks ago also. Um, on, on Friday night, they did comedy Friday nights out there too. So don't worry, I will link all his contact information yeah, in below. Be I always do every time everything. it comes on, but I'll link it all below so that you can follow him and find out all the shows that he has coming for. Yeah, cause we used to do this yesterday. I was like, I got hit the uh, hit up to go to Sandman Comedy Club in Richmond, so I was like, Fuck. which is like, hilarious because it's more convenient that you did it today because he's available. Ah, oh, perfect. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was not available yesterday. Oh damn, look at God work it out, right? right. So <laughs> I like when you hit me up with the day, I was yeah. like, well, what time is good for him? And he was like, all right, yeah, I can this time i was like Bet. yeah okay time. yeah so i'm not gonna tell you what day or time we're recording because our secret good talk uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the joke that everybody's coming back with though is the oh, question yeah so everyone's doing quarantine jokes i everyone's figured like, it, it everyone, had to yeah. be quarantine unemployment or like uh, uh the capital jokes you gotta so like a lot of white comics would do like the capital jokes <laughs> the black people are scared to touch them Black people won't. They, 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 it's boring. Yeah, yeah it's kind of boring to us. Like the white people will be like, yeah. because white people have been doing shit like this. this whole exactly. Life. And so, niggas already knew. They were like, yeah, no bullshit. And so like, just like protect themselves. They're like, yeah. So my uncle was there on the set, you know, type <laughs> shit. Why is my whole family tree at the fucking yeah. capital on this so, day? Like, that change, you know, change up for you know, like my uncle and family member was there and they didn't call me. I would have hung out with them before that, like Fact. type shit. Um, but yeah, it's like that. Um, yeah, a little bit of unemployment, not too many people, because everyone's, you know, kind of kept their job. Um, <laughs> fortunately, I guess, um, you got a couple of unemployment kids still. Of course. Um, but mostly it's just been about, the, you know, COVID, pretty much, you know, like, oh, yeah, COVID, you know, stuck at home. I was with my kids, you know, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. I so. would have thought you would have taken all that time to create some different content other than COVID jokes. Knowing, as a comedian, you would think. like, I'm... I, I'm only a podcast host, but at a certain point, I had to be like, okay, we're done with yeah, the COVID like, conversation. That's the thing, because COVID, you know, after a certain point, it's like, all right, you can't use that no more. Because everybody's yeah. fucking yeah, used it or it. is using it. It's like, I only have, like, one COVID joke. It's not really, like, a COVID joke. Mm-hmm. Like, I just talk about how, like, I'm not afraid of COVID because I put, like, microphone condoms on. <laughs> so, like, I, I'll, I'll put, like, yeah. the microphone condom on like, when I get to the stage and I got, like, you know, Talk, talk to shit, mm-hmm. and then like I'll be like, "Hey, I know you guys will look at me awkwardly earlier when I put the microphone condom on." 
not because I'm afraid of COVID. I've been dodging. Like, that's like, like, it was child support. So, like, I'm good. You I came on last episode when you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of this nigga. I almost missed what he just said, but I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> but you just got your. No, you ain't got a test. Not, not your yeah, I just got the test. Yeah, you yeah. got a test last time you came but I was like, I've been dodging COVID like it's child support. So, like, I'm not afraid of it. It's just people eat ass now, and I'm trying to protect my nose nostrils. Cause I don't why are you craving? Why are you equivocating eating ass to COVID? No, because people be you know people be they don't send test mics nowadays. People just be like talking like you don't know the microphone. People and niggas been home. You're yeah, not putting your mouth home. on the microphone. Yeah, but I mean you're putting the microphone close enough. So you're, you're putting pretty, your tongue in the asshole. Yeah, but that tongue, you know, because people be. I, I just, just you just look around. the rim. Yeah, you, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm tongue shit. punching her fart box. Yeah. Shout out to Charlemagne the God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people be like in their tongue box and, the, you know, Mm-mm. tongue box and the shit nuggets. Like, you know. Tongue, finger, dick. Yeah. Well, That's how the anal yeah. process works. Shout the out to some... all my anal bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mac and Cheese. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. You know what's funny? I just realized this now that I'm here. I was supposed to actually hang out with her to to um to, to meet someone. I don't fuck with her no more. You don't? I stopped fucking with her a long time oh. ago. I, I I already probably know why. <laughs> I, no, I'll tell you in the, the okay. Patreon portion. Um, I I could probably squeeze it in. It's a very quick to the point thing. But yeah. I yeah, I'll wait to the Patreon. Portion, okay. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, fuck mac and cheese. But shout out to mac and cheese. Yeah, I was supposed to hang out with mac and cheese today. I, I just realized that to, yeah. to see your kid. Yeah. Which one? Yikes. No, literally, which one? Cause the newest one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't fuck with her no more. No, nah, we'll talk about it later. Shout out Mac and Cheese. <laughs> yeah. But she's hating life right now. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, <laughs> Love her, but she hates her life right now. I, I mean, like, you know, she loves the kids and all that. But, all right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Comedy is great, though. Uh, I bet it is. <laughs> it, it is. I, I, I fucking love this shit. Like, the gift that keeps on giving. It, it does. It really does. Like, being a show producer is fun because, like, the first show we had back, we had, um, I don't know if you guys know Tony Woods. Uh, Sounds familiar. But he, he pretty much, like, brought up Dave Chappelle. Mm. Oh, okay. So he came to the show and, like, closed out the show. And then um, for our Wednesday show, we had our first one two Wednesdays ago because we had to cancel last Wednesday because of the mm-hmm. rain, because mm-hmm. the outdoor show. Oh, okay. um, And we had Joe Claire pop up. Oh, wow. Yeah, just like off the humble, Joe Claire was like, hey, I heard you guys had a show. Tony Woods told me about it, you know, trying to do some time. And like we let him close out. He did like tw- 30 minutes. And it was like, oh, shit. And, like, you didn't have to pay fucking nothing for it. <laughs> I was like, nigga, I'm taking all the photos. Like, yeah, just had this shit up. We get this publicity right plug now. Plug my shit, plug yo. my shit, plug my shit. I'm like, yo, whenever you want to come out, just come on out. But, like, <laughs> that's, like, the cool thing. Like, we've just been getting, like, a lot of, like, our shows have been, like, really successful so far coming back. Um, and, like, anyone who's coming in from out of town, like, hits us up, like, first stop. Like, hey, mm-hmm. coming in from New York. Hey, coming in from L.A. I'm, you know, I heard great things about you guys' show, trying to come through. It's like, fuck yeah, come on through. Why not? So. Now, you being one of the. One of the few comedians I know, like consistent comedians, like this yeah. is a this this is not just like a a, a hobby for you. This is a, a a significant passion, and you like ever since the first time job. I met you, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like this is this is so much more for you. What's a step that you plan on making in the future with comedian? Or with so, comedy? um, this actually changed a, a few days ago because like before. Um, I, I kind of wanted to like, you know, still do the production thing and kind of mm-hmm. like, you know, help kids get in there and stuff like that for um, like production for comedians, like just like just producing shows to give people like a chance to get mm-hmm. on. Um, but like since then I kind of like turned to the dark side a little bit. Um, just because, <laughs> no, because like, so like the, a lot of people now like are trying to do comedy. They're like, mm-hmm. oh, I've been doing you know Zoom shows for the last year during you know COVID. I want to try it in person, or yeah. you know, my friend died during you know the last you know a couple months, and it, like, dying wishes for me to do comedy, so I'm doing this for them. Yeah, I'm like fuck you guys. I hate I hate <laughs> all you guys. <laughs> you know, like you guys have nothing. You guys have yeah. no premises. Like right. nothing. You just up there just bullshitting. Facts. Like fuck you. Like you know, for us people that take it seriously, like fuck you. Get out, get the fuck out. Right. Um, right. So, like, I was, like, all, like, yeah, I would have give these people a shot, you know. Now it's, like, you know, now that we're a couple months in, it's, like, all right, not funny people. Y'all need to get the fuck out. Like, just just mm-hmm. quit. Like, go back to what you was doing beforehand. It's just not for you. Um, so, kind of more so now, it's, like, kind of um, getting myself back out there. Um, 
I was, you know, like I said, featuring at the comedy club this weekend. Uh, two different comedy clubs. Friday night I was out in um, D.C. at the Comedy Loft. Mm-hmm. Friday and Saturday. And then sa- um, Sunday I was over at Sandman Comedy Club. So it was like trying to like get myself back out there. Like I want to yeah. hit the improv. I want to go to like Kazi's down in Virginia Beach. Um, Funny Bone when that reopens up in Richmond. and also They're open already. The Richmond one isn't. I could have... Oh, yeah, because yeah, the one in Virginia Beach. Yeah, the Virginia Beach one is yeah. open. Uh, but, like, get into, like, the clubs and stuff like that. Magoobie's up in Baltimore. So, like, more so focusing, like, on myself getting back out there. And, yeah. like, you know, like, producing's cool, but, like, I want to get out there on my, you know, myself. Yeah, and I mean, and that's, a, I mean, I can, I can understand that from the standpoint of where I am. Because as I as the owner of YCC Entertainment, I produce all the podcasts yeah. that come through. Mm-hmm. But still, I can't see myself not doing everything single else. Right. Exactly. So I get it, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an understanding. You gotta find that balance. You gotta find that balance. Yeah. Where like you can be like, okay, because at a certain point, like I don't know if like if to any patrons or uh, uh specifically patrons because y'all usually listen to everything that comes out, but even to the YouTube subscribers, you'll hear me in the background of other shows. But I try to navigate away from that and let them run their own fucking shows. But at the end of the day, I'm still producing them. But yeah, I mean, you like the Vince McMahon of it. Yeah, but I, and I want to be more background. Yeah. I only want to be known as our sins of woes and protests and riots. And yeah. I'm only I'm the minuscule. I'm the the thirty percent of the seventy percent of uh, fucking protests and riot. Shit. That is Penrose's show. I am just the co-host on that show. Yeah, that's, that's what I tell truth. people all the time. Yeah, I might fucking produce it. I might do post production and pre production on it. But at the end of the day, I'm just the co-host on that show. Our sins of woes is my baby and my baby alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. everything else is like I'm. I don't want to say grandfather to him, but in a sense, I'm grandfather yeah. to yeah. everything else. But now the production is, but you got to find that balance. Yeah, find because that at balance, the end yeah. of the day, your passion is my passion is hosting. Yeah. Exactly. I've always been the type of person that can you know enjoy or lead a conversation. So mm-hmm. why not stay in that realm? But now I'm at a point where I'm learning how to teach other people how to. And that's you know, the thing. That, that. And, and that's the thing. Like I'm trying to like teach other people to like host and stuff like that. So I don't have to necessarily do all of this. Correct. So then yeah. I can actually go out, do shows, and not have to like worry about being there, you know, physically to yeah. actually run the show. Because it, it, running up and down DC, like you know, yep. and then coming back home and then yeah. going to sleep, like I, like I said, like literally my schedule is, go, you know, wake up, go to work, mm-hmm. after work, go straight to a show, set up, do the show, break down, drive home, go to sleep at like you know. Midnight, mm-hmm. wake up at five thirty, repeat the you know the same as that thing. Carry equipment, you know, and it's for for three days straight, and it, yeah. it, it, it will burn the fuck out of you, you yeah. know. Only run out for like four hours of sleep. But so. again, that's like something that we strive for. Yeah, it's something we strive for, and I, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. And fucking, will you know do this until I, my body gives out. But just like you know what, maybe I should find someone else to kind of you know help lighten the load a little bit. You know, exactly. Fuck. Eric, I want you to do me a favor and hold this conversation because, okay. you know, you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> and make sure you get into a point of asking what's one of the biggest reactions that you've dealt with post-COVID. Ooh. You just when you go to a show. You just ask the question. I'll there you go. Brandon, <laughs> you're on the mic and Eric, you're on oh, the uh, host. Shit. I got to okay. pee real bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold this in for like 10 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, damn, that's a good one. Um the biggest reaction, like negative reaction, we talk like positive, like I, I, I either one, think like negative. Like, have you so. had like a Kevin Hart moment, like a chicken wing being thrown at your face or some shit like that? No, I haven't. Luckily, I haven't. Um, it's just been more so as of late, just like me not choking out people, <laughs> just because like because people do stupid shit. Yeah. So like for example, um, I, I hate to you know give this person the the, the attention, mm-hmm. um, but um, we had a comic that was on our show and and she was a new comic and. Like I said, not funny, but wanted to try it out. <laughs> Gave her a couple shots. Uh-huh. And um, we had a show. We was like, hey, we noticed you like to go over the light. You like yeah. to go over your time slot. Oh, I hate when people do that yeah, shit. Yeah, so we was like, hey, you know, stop fucking doing that. Right. So um, she's always, like, sitting in the front. She always has her friends, you know, mm. who show up, and they always get drunk and fucking cause, you know, Ugh. always try to heckle people and shit like that. Um, so... We had to tell her, we was like, yo, you, you can't fucking do this shit. Because she was trying to get one of her friends on the show also. Uh-huh. And we was like, all right, you know, if you go over, mm-hmm. we're taking away from your friend's time. Right, right. So, as you should. Yeah, as you should. So if you go over, 
three minutes, your friend is only getting two minutes. Exactly. And that's on fucking you. Like, you can't blame no one else but yourself. Right. So she goes up. Uh, like, we did the comment call. And we, like, we told us beforehand, we did the comment call. Mm-hmm. Told everybody, hey, five minutes. She's like, uh, well, I was thinking more so like seven to eight minutes for me. We was like, yeah, funny bitch. Whatever, white coat witch. Um, yes! <laughs> Bro, at that point, it, yeah. I would just be like, like, yo, like, don't fucking come back here because, like, clearly you don't respect the crap. Exactly. So that's what we for did. You to do that. So that's what we did. So so she went up and then she ended up obviously going over. Mm-hmm. So we was like, yo, hey, wrap it up, bitch. Like, get the fuck off. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> like, yeah, like, wrap it up, was, bitch. yeah, I'm like, wrap it up, bitch. Like, get the fuck off. Like, you already did your time. Like, it ain't funny. Like, you're drunk one. <laughs> like, oh she's God. up there, like, pretending like she's Ray Charles with her fucking sunglasses on, just like, oh, I can't see nothing. Oh, so she's like, one of those. Yeah, one of those bitches. So Ugh. she finally like gets off, and like before she gets off, she's like, ah, I guess I have to go now, and did like a, like a spit to like the mic, like, Pleh. and like I'm like, bitch, really? Like, is this really what we doing? So like, I almost. <laughs> I almost forgot where I was at. I was like, yo, I'm about to just like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo, dog is bitch out. I was like, yo, I'm about to drag this bitch outside. <laughs> like, uh, like, I don't know if you heard about um the, the uh, DC bar Nelly's where the chick got dragged down the stairs. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, that's in my Twitter feed every other. Okay. Oh, by the Post. security guard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. about to drag that bitch down some fucking stairs outside and like just tell her never to come back. You don't mm-hmm. have to do that. You just hit it with the bus driver applicant. I mean, at least she wasn't pregnant. I, but nah, I, want, I wanted her to feel it, though. I, want, I wanted her to feel <laughs> Instead it. Instead of just a boom, you just went yeah, like to Yeah, I wanted, yeah, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, like, I wanted her to have a <laughs> not- Speaking of stand-up, it's like the Eddie Murphy when, yeah. when his auntie was falling down the stairs. Yes. <laughs> no, I help me, Jesus, go. But, like, after that happened, like, the crowd was just like, yo, what the fuck just happened? And just, like, was just, like, so dumbfounded, kind of, like, you know, with everything happening with her just being a bitch on stage. And then, like, it just took a lot to get the energy back up to, like, a positive vibe. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck this bitch. That's the one thing I hate about, like, um, uh, from your standpoint, and I yeah. can only vicariously live through, but, like, you being a uh, uh, a comedian, there's so much... Pickup room, like as a host, oh, I don't God. have to. I don't have to like as a podcast host. I don't have to pick up like from where they left off, kind yeah. of thing. Like if you bring the energy down, there's no such thing. Yeah, because I'm there with you. Yeah, you're there the with, yeah. But if you give somebody like 15, uh, 10, 15 minutes on stage, and then they bombed, <sighs> <laughs> then you have to pick that back up. Yeah, there's no point in time where this is gonna happen during podcasting. Because exactly, I'm there with yeah, you. Yeah, you're there with me. Every yeah. time the second drops, I pick that second back exactly. up. Exactly. So. Like, we had an incident Thursday with this new comic, and, like, the fucked up part is, like, we have, like, 130 people that, like, try uh-huh. to get on our shows each week. Mm-hmm. So, you would imagine 130 people, you can't fit all 130 people into three shows. Right. So, you have to break it up, but we can't get 130 people, if, if you, you know, divide that by three, you You're know. You're talking about an audience. No, I'm talking about like, uh, comics trying what, to get, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, 130 <laughs> comics trying to get on the show. Yeah. So we, we usually do like, you know, 12 to 15 comics per show because mm-hmm. we get drop-ins from out of town and then like, you know, more established headliners coming through, you know, that like, hey, I'm in town, you know, I just want to pop through and do some, you know, work on some stuff. Cool. Right. So we do like 12 to, th- you know, 15. And then there's one guy who was fucking horrible, um, got up, like, we got him up, like, a, a month ago. He did shitty, like, he just completely bombed, didn't talk to the mic, couldn't hear him, all that stuff. And then he thinks he's, you know, he thinks he's funny. He's like, no, you're, you're shit, kid. Uh, but white privilege. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we end up getting him back again because he, he keeps showing up every week. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, gosh, so like, let's just fucking get this minutes out the way. So we put him up last week, and he goes up there. He's like, yeah. He, he tried to make a joke about the wait list, like waiting. Yeah. And you couldn't hear him, so, like, it fell flat. And then he jumps into a fucking rape joke. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what was this rape joke? I don't even Actually. fucking know. That's <laughs> a culture <laughs> So I'm in the back of the room like, oh, my fucking God. Are you serious? Like, what? You try to shit on me as a producer. Like, you try to shit, shit on the show, and then you go into a fucking rape show. It's like, this is why no one puts you up at any shows. Time out. I don't know if y'all know how hilarious it is when Eric hits the cancel button, and I ain't telling him to hit the cancel button. <laughs> it's the funniest shit when he hits it, and I ain't saying nothing. 
I, 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 wow. I'm just <laughs> like, oh my god! I was like, yo, I, I, so can someone give me a shot of something? So I was like, yo, I would have been like, someone give me a shotgun because this nigga's about to die. <laughs> yeah, I, I was so ready to choke him out as Susie got off stage. I was time like, out. yo, time out. Like, <laughs> I wanted, to, I wanted to choke the fuck out of this white boy. Like, I was so ready. <laughs> and for the episode 56 Plug of the Week. <laughs> yeah, We're going to go get this Plug of the Week out of the way. Get these two kicks and a hug out of the way. And say, body your free niggas. And we're going to get into a bag about the, the rest of this episode. Because me and Brandon stay after such on a uh, oh, uh, yeah, fucking got... titles in the press. Yeah. We got to get on this uh, OnlyFans. And Rachel Dawson finally starting her OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Yikes. The milk carton incident. And yeah. where these niggas are getting it from. Because... <laughs> Who's applying them? <laughs> Yo, for real, who? And uh, going in situations where you're uh, you're wanted before you're needing. Mm. I got a Ooh. bag for that. I Ooh. like that. But we're definitely going to roll to this plug of the week. And for our episode 56 plug of the week, I finally got this fucking track from permission of Curl. <laughs> <laughs> I have to include that. I got it for permission to curl. They said I could probably use this song, and I've been waiting for this song since, like, episode fucking 20 of this podcast. Yeah, it's, it's been a couple months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> months, that's a year, well, nigga. Say, yeah, a year. We, were, I tried, we shot episode 20 at the library. I tried yeah. to be generous. I, tr- I really tried to be generous. <laughs> this song by, <laughs> by Dia Marie featuring Kuro. Uh, shout out to Dia Marie. Shout out to Talks with Dia podcast if you haven't already listened to it. But I probably... At, numerous times about this fucking song and I really wanted to use this shit. But its song is called Love Me Not by Dia Marie featuring Curl. I don't really have much to say. Just know that it'd be a SoundCloud playlist plug of the week for you to listen to. We are at like we are a little bit more than halfway <coughs> done with volume two. Yeah. So you know once we hit song 20. Oh shut up. Ah, I'll get into that bag when we get back. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I was about to go down a, a fucking bag bag. But uh, Let Me Not by Dan Marie featuring Curl. Make sure you check it out. SoundCloud plug, play this plug of the week. And this is SoundCloud plug of the week for episode 56. Go. Color a dragon fruit cuffing you what I had to do. If not, I'd be a sad dude. This A bar is my gratitude. Rolling down the avenue, just me, you, and your attitude. Got these niggas hating me, and got these bitches mad at you. Every second of every minute that I spend next to you. Like Lenny and Lisa, just laid up light in these vegetables. You, you, you bring out the best of me, and I bring out the rest of you. And if the Lord was testing me, I pass because he done blessed with you. Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? 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 You know they say that love doesn't come easy. If it's not worth fighting for, is it real love? If it's not unconditional, is it true love? If you don't get butterflies, is it still love? I'm waiting, cause stuck on the link, I make them places. Can't fake it, but I kind of didn't answer impatient. So impatient. It's love, man. I just wanna know if you can take it. You can take it. Big love, man. Shot it super bad, I'm chasing. Drop me, love me, not these trials, tribulations. Got me thinking. You the one who for you want a man that's me, so why you say it? Like, like the baby girl, I keep it. I don't like the ladies. Yeah, so tell me when you're ready, cause I'm waiting. Don't know why you take it. You love me. Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? You do you love me? Do you love me not? Hey, love me. Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? Do you love me? Do you love me?
Let me not. Dia Marie Kuro. Shout out to Two's Attention's yeah. podcast. If you're not hip to who the fuck Kuro is, that's Xavier Clyde Tony Nova. Make sure you check out Two's Attention podcast. Needless to say, those niggas are hilarious. <laughs> Give you all your favorite contests about music and the music industry. Make sure you check it out. But make sure you check out Dia Marie. Uh, Talks with Dia podcast. Um, I don't know if she's still doing it, but she's got enough content out where you can use it as a reference point for how talented she is. So, yeah, it, re- it took a lot to get that song. I know. It took a lot to get that song. Trust but, um, I know. To my free niggas. Uh, two kicks and a hug. Two kicks and a fucking hug. Um, you got a positive note for the, the free niggas? Or did you want to save it for the. Um, positive note for the free niggas. Um,. <laughs> But you gotta hit another one to the Patreons. Okay. So give free niggas a limited. <laughs> so <it knows. laughs> Y'all still get Obamacare. There, there you go. That's a pop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. They get Obamacare. <laughs> I second that. Uh, <laughs> two kicks and hug. We're gonna send this free niggas on the way. Um. Shout out to the men that still throwing ones in the air at their local bar. My nigga, that's because you can't afford the cover charge at your local strip club. Mm. Dumb bitches love y'all. Uh, shout out to the women who play with dildos as twice the size of their partners. Dumb niggas love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the black people that sit back and say, yep, they have kept me down. <laughs> but knowing they've kept me down long enough, now it's time for me to step up. We appreciate you for taking accountability for your situations. And we love you. With all that being said, um, I've been on a decent amount of dates. And some of the dates I've been, and let's not say like I've you know, dated a lot of women, like I've ha- called a lot of women my girlfriend, but I've just been on a decent amount of dates. Mm-hmm. And some of those dates have been nice walks through the parks where like, you know, we stroll through the park and then we go home back to the crib and watch a, a movie that's already on Amazon Prime. And some of those dates have ended with nothing but a kiss on the cheek. Most of those dates, if not all of those dates have ended with a kiss on the cheek. But the dates where you take the lady out and you take her to dinner, you pay the whole tab, they usually end with her sitting on your face. Amen. To so that I say, bye free niggas. <laughs>